Hey, what's up, guys? We're gonna play some Evil Lands. This game had about 5 million downloads on the Google Play Store with a pretty decent rating. This is a multiplayer PvP RPG game. So, excited to see what it's all about. Um, it has some uh, magic. Um, this is based uh, in medieval times. So, I don't know if we're gonna see some uh, swords, some magic, some uh, monsters. I kind of saw in a short clip that they had displayed there. So,. I'm going to click play and get started. Oh, we got a dragon here. This picture. I get to select a character. I'm going to go with the... Uh, I don't know. I guess let's just go with the jacked guy in the center, right? The big X. I can click male and female. I'm just going to click the uh, guy that they uh, gave me. You can obviously modify him to your liking different options to do that so use swipe to look around left and right got it so pretty uh, looks like pretty standard movement here you can uh, look left look right walk around it's telling me to go to that location I have a map in the top right hand corner I am uh, right here in a uh, Multiplayer game, I guess, right now. <clears throat> well, hello there. Nice to see you with a fresh-looking face. I hope you don't expect to keep your looks in this godforsaken place. Uh, so you're here for an adventure. How do you feel about enchanted skeletons who won't stop until they've chopped off uh, your head? Oh, you've smashed... Or you smashed in theirs. Okay. So that was the quest guy. We just picked up a quest. We already have um, some... Uh, this guy right here is a player that's in this game. This is the merchant. So I'm just going to start heading over to the quest where it takes me. We have these... Oh, they're here are the skeletons right here. <clears throat> Boom. Pick them out pretty easily. We got some gold. Oh, there's more. There's definitely more. Awesome. I was surprised this game actually only has 5 million dollars. Seems like a pretty uh, solid game. It does have a good rating, but... I feel like it actually should have more downloads with being a multiplayer RPG like this. Open world, something very different. So, let me go kill some more of these skeletons. <clears throat> Alright, does that mean uh, I accomplished my quest if I killed them? Oh no, so, oh yeah, okay. I think it wants me to go back to the guy. <clears throat> this person's out here killing them as well. Why are they going for me now? Get away. I'm going back into town. Let's see what happens when I bring them back into town. I'm going back to the quest guy because I completed my quest. Okay, they didn't follow me. Let's see if I get rewarded for my quest accomplishment. Collect. So, I completed the quest. I got rewards. I got gold. I got gems. I got iron. Collect it all. Yep. Okay, so we have all those supplies down there. Um, oh, no, not down there. I don't know where they're at. But uh, we can unlock something. Okay, we unlocked that. Something with my axe upgrading it or something to that effect. We are level 2 with strength. We are level 2 with uh, our health, our speed, our luck. Let's just keep upgrading that until we can't anymore, right? Okay. I've upgraded quite a bit. This guy's probably... Who's this guy? I have everything you need. Okay. If you ever marry straight, 
Mary, stranger, be kind to your spouse. Mine is the sweetest. She has... <laughs> Uh, darned my socks and bore my <clears throat> and bore my children and stood by me in these horrible times. Yet I used her as a servant, <laughs> drank our money to the ter uh, tavern. Now she is at death's door, and I fear her sickness will take her away. What is it? What do you want me to do? I must save her life. I can make the remedy. But I need more herbs, so I gotta go get herbs for this guy to save his it's wife that he just, uh, used as a slave, I guess, and wonder what happened to their, uh, long-going relationship that he had going. Alright, I'm gonna avoid these, uh, skeletons this time, I'm just gonna run by him, run away, I, uh, so that's my upgraded, uh, can sprint. I have that, I didn't realize. Okay, we got the herbs. Very nice. We have one of five. We need five total. And so I don't know if there is, uh, we'll have to check it out, see if there's some multiplayer where you are facing off against other players. I think it's going to be more of a of a game where you are doing uh, quests with your teammates, um, with other players. At least that's what I'm in right now. Where they could probably do quests with you, help you out. <clears throat> Whereas if I was doing this with another person, I could get the herbs a little bit quicker, maybe. I don't know if it's like a person, It's a, it did say PVP, so actually I take back what I said. You definitely can probably battle people in this. Um, this is just not the game mode for it. So it'd be interesting to see um, how that looks. It'd also be interesting to see, um, obviously we picked this guy, what the other characters have. The guy obviously <clears throat> to the right of this guy had like a big um, like magic uh, stick like a freaking Gandalf stick so I don't know what powers he may have had be interesting to see so I think didn't I get five I think I did so now it's telling me to go back here I like the uh, little locator thing where it tells me exactly where to go I'm not wandering around searching for that stuff it just tells me where it's at I like that so that's pretty cool quest Three. We're already on our third quest. Let's see what's in the backpack. Uh, um, I equipped it a different axe, it looks like. We have different materials that allow you to probably build different weapons. An upgrade weapon. I have, um, that's, we were already in that section. It's the backpack section. We have armor that we can equip, um, different items, necklaces, rings, etc, etc, etc. Baxter. Protect us, brave soldier. Kill the undead king. Sounds a little bit more complicated. Let's go and kill the undead king. It's a ways away. This will be the last and final quest I'm going to do with this game. Um, and, uh, I think it's been pretty good so far. I like how it's a big open world multiplayer with a bunch of different quests, upgrade weapons, how it takes place in medieval times. I'd like to maybe see, um, on the way journey here, because I know there's other monsters in this game other than, like, these skeletons. There's tons of them, I think, like, uh, big animals that will attack you and stuff like that, so... Be curious to see what that's all about. So let's eliminate this guy if we can. Or I'll just get the crap beat on me. You can see his health there at the top. I kind of held that, uh, my axe thing down to do some more damage to him. Bada bing, bada boom. 
Thing is, I don't know where my health bar is. Oh, I think that's it at the, uh, I don't know. I don't know where it's at, so. <laughs> Teleporting. Interrupted. Hold on. I want to make sure that, uh, okay, there we go. That's how I picked that up. Good thing I didn't, uh, mistake that. Um, we can teleport back to where we go. That's pretty cool that you don't have to just, like, walk around um, to get back to where your destination is and move through things quickly. Can I kill this guy? Nope. Okay. Let's see what we were rewarded. Let's open up the... Oh, didn't mean to do that. So it does have ads that you can um, watch to unlock certain things. Sorry you guys had to see this. I didn't mean to click on that. I thought that was just a free box that I got from the quest. But overall, I would say it's a pretty good game. I think I'm, I'd am i probably give it a 4 out of 5 stars on the uh, Google Play Store. Um, I'd like to see you know, what other quests it sends me on, what other things I can upgrade in this game. I know there's definitely going to be like a section for the blacksmith to upgrade your weapons, upgrade your armor, upgrade different things. So let's at least see what we got in the box. So we got three gems. Cracked bones and stone. Rare, apparently. And some type of spirit thing. Okay. I think that's always a good thing to be able to watch ads to get that in your game as long as ads aren't pushed upon you. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, that concludes this little uh, tutorial, little video, um, kind of my first take on this game. It's got only 5 million downloads. I think it's going to get a lot more in the future because I'm definitely going to try out this game some more. Keep playing it. See what it's all about. See what other uh, things I run into. Um, but let me know what you think of it down in the comment section. Well, let me know what you want to see in this game specifically in the future. I'll probably make a video of it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, subscribe. And we will see you next time.